I found a new AI tool that can help you create captivating product ads just like this. Convert your sketches into live prototype images, create an insane fusion of your images, and so much more. It is mind-blowing what you can do with this tool. Let me show you how. Robert AI is an innovative artificial intelligence platform designed to enhance your creative workflow by offering a multitude of tools to help you become very creative. It offers tools that helps you convert things like sketches to images, static images to videos. And the good thing about this tool is that it spans across multiple industries like architecture, interior designing, landscaping, all the way to creating different product images as well as gaming images specifically for gamers. This platform is very intuitive which you will see shortly. To access this page just come to promai dot pro and at the very top here you could click on login or sign up to get started so i'll just click on login to sign into my account because i have an account already and it brings you to this home page so i'll quickly walk you what is happening on the home page at the very top left corner where you have a bar here is where you have some of your tools laid out in different categories while in the middle is tools also grouped into categories here you have your image generation with this plethora of tools you have your image editing you have your video then you have your team and at the very top here you get to see the number of coins you have while you are generating your images or your videos within this um, given platform for this particular video we'll be covering very few um tools which are specific to the needs of people that watch my videos on this channel we'll be starting with the image generation tool the first one will be sketch um rendering click on here it's going to open up the sketch rendering page and here you could see community which will show you other images people are creating and you can see history which houses the images you are creating yourself for us to create our own image you could always upload your own image by clicking on the plus button here and it picks an image from your computer but i already have an image set we'll just click on that image the image is going to load in the middle of the page here and then we will go ahead to type in what we want that image to do and do a couple of settings then go ahead to generate this image once the image is done loading, you just go ahead to type in what that image represents. So this is just a modern home sketch that I have created. And then the next thing would be to choose a style. You're going to choose realistic because it's um, an image of a building. You could choose different styles based off of what you're trying to create. The next thing would be to choose a particular scene. We'll just go in. There are multiple scenes, but we're interested in architecture. And then it will ask you what is the building type then we'll choose a residential building then here is going to go ahead to ask you what is the building style let us look for something that is very cute sustainable innovation and for the environment it's going to ask you would it be night would it be day rainy and so forth then here we're just going to choose night and make it look very nice and then the next thing would be for you to choose a mode the mode outlines how realistic the image will look compared to the image you have fed it. We're going to be using a bit of an outline to generate this specific image. And then if you have a specific reference image you want to reference, you could add it here, but we're just gonna leave that blank. And then next, in terms of perspective is, from what direction or from what point would you want to view um, this specific image? We want an area view of this image and then would go ahead to select v2 means two versions and just click on generate image and this will start loading and once the image is done generating we'll see the two images here and we'll see how it looks like these are the results you could put it side by side to see how it looks like or you could use this slider this looks really stunning and let's look at the second one that we generated as well this looks really good and then 
Another thing I wanted to show would be you could also use it to generate uh, multiple images when it comes to floor plans. So here, this is a floor plan that I have uploaded and it will be generating an image based off of the floor plan. We'll go back to the style. We'll still be using realistic style. We'll go back to the scene. This time around, we choose it indoor because we want to create a floor plan. And here we're going to choose floor plan. Then you go ahead to select what scenes do you want to see within the given um, element. You could go ahead to choose from living room all the way down to basement. So we'll just leave this as it is just for the purpose of this video and then in terms of the interior style you could choose a style that you want let me just choose this german modern minimalistic then in terms of the environment we'll just leave it as it is as well and then for the mode we'll be leaving as outlined then there's no reference image we leave our settings the way it is and then we go ahead to generate the image to see what it gives us you could see that this is done generating you can't beat this this looks really good in terms of how the aesthetic, aesthetics looks like based off of the floor plan this is a game changer for those who are into real estate or those who are architects this is really good this is for sketch rendering the next two we'll be looking at would be the image generator for the image generator here we'll just type in what we want to create from scratch We'll be creating a bottle of perfume for our perfume store that we saw at the advert at the beginning and here we just go ahead and choose a style here we're going to be choosing commercial because i wanted to have like a commercial feel and then for the scene this time around we'll be looking for packaging designs here you could scroll down and choose cosmetic bottle and for the packaging style we're going to choose a specific packaging style let's choose eclectic mix this looks okay then in terms of the perspective we want it medium up close short and then we go ahead in terms of the artistry we just take it up a little bit and then go ahead to click on generate image and watch that image generate you could see how beautiful these images look like. They look really stunning. Even though the words on it are not clear, you can always get rid of that. This brings me to the image editing tools we'll be talking about today. For you to edit the tool, just click on the button here that says edit. And the first one we'll be looking at is out painting. So assuming I want to increase the size of this to fill this up, you just click on that, it opens to a new window. You go to scale, choose a particular size that you want we will just leave the size as a square you can come in here and explain what you want this is a bottle of perfume and you go ahead to generate it's going to fill up that whole box to expand the image depending on what you want to do you can see that this gives this image a better dimension and even brought in some flowers at the sides what if you want to eliminate the text from this particular image you go to edit and this is where the next tool comes in which is called erase and replace when you click on it it's going to load the image to a different window it's going to give you different options here do you want to replace do you want to remove do you want to retouch recolor depending on what you want to do here for instance we want to remove the text once you click on remove click on the space and then click on generate it's going to get rid of that specific text in the bottle that removed the specific test in the bottle but it added something else in the middle you could also go ahead to try to edit it until you get rid of it if you want it completely gone but if you like the image here then you could proceed with the image and once you're done with the image this takes me to the next editing tool assuming you want to scale it to a specific size you could do that in two ways you could do that through here where you could click on upscale and it upscales your image or you could come to the download button and choose like a hd upscaler and that will be upscaled to your computer let's have this um load first of all then we choose the quality we'll make it high and click on generate it's going to upscale then we'll go ahead to download the image once the upscale is done this is the before and this is the after. It looks really stunning. Then you could go ahead and download it to your computer and then use it. For instance, if you want to 
remove the background of this image. This is one of the last tools within the editing kit that I'll be covering. Just click on this again, and then you can click on background removal, and then it's going to ask you what you want to do with the background. Do you want to replace it with a specific color, or you want to re remove the background entirely? In this scenario, we're going to be removing the background entirely, and just click on generate. It's going to get rid of the background. Then you can use it subsequently in different situations that you want to use um, the image for. And that will be for the image editing tools. We'll be going back to the image generation tools and I'll be covering one more tool that we'll be looking at a video tool. The, one, the tool I'll be covering here will be Creative Fusion. And this is the tool that gets me really excited. The same thing you have your the community and the history for this particular area. I'll be using this particular image, this particular sketch that I have. And this sketch, I would like to convert it to a different um, style of image. Here, you could click on the style and here it could give you different styles. This is a picture of a woman We're using the female. and will be looking for different styles that we want to convert it to. We'll just choose this specific style. This is what I want to represent. And once you choose that specific style, you come to render mode. You will notice that in the render mode, you have multiple different features that you can try out to see which one is closest to the image that you have fed it. I'll just use soft edge specifically. You could go ahead to type in um, a particular prompt that you want to see or a negative prompt that you don't want to see. I'll leave this blank and then the intensity of the style, you could either increase it or decrease it. But I like just the way it is. And then I'll go ahead and click on generate and we'll wait for the image to generate. While the image is generating, these are a couple of ones that I've created already and you can see how stunning they look. Let's just wait for ours to finish and you can see this is done and this looks really amazing. You could do this with multiple images depending on what you want to do. One more example I want to show you would be using a dog just to showcase how you could change the scene depending on what you want to create so let's go back to our image generator go to my history i created this specific dog what i want to do is i'll go to my editing and i want to um, use creative fusion it opens that and this time around for the image style i'm going to scroll to where we have animals and i'll look for dog and i want to use this style of image and then i want to use the soft edge as well click on generate and then we'll wait for the results and see how the image looks like this is done so you can see the original image and you can see the one that is created this looks really, really very very similar obviously it changed the colors but you could see that the general aesthetics still remain the, the dog having the legs on the log everything looks really good this is another example of where to use um creative fusion and then finally the last tool that i'll be covering would be the image to video which is one of the tools i use to create the specific intro you saw at the beginning of this video just click on image to video and once you click on image to video the same thing you still have your community you have your history but this time around we'll be using a specific image of a perfume that we already created we want this water around the perfume to move around and here you could come and choose the low and the high and then just go ahead and click on generate while this is generating i would say that this tool is good in terms of generating animated images at, off the bat but i also feel that this needs improvement in terms of giving us a bit of control compared to some other tools that we have, we have reviewed on this channel this is done and you could see how this looks this looks good this is just what i did when i was creating some of clips I used at the beginning of this video. It looks really good. The next thing would be, what does it take to assess the Promer AI platform? Let's just go to how their membership works so you are aware. They have a free plan. That means you can actually start testing this tool right now without paying a dime and these are a couple of things it's going to give you 10 coins per month to generate multiple images or depending on what you are creating from what my experience using this tool so far it doesn't take so much of your coins also if you use a link in the description box it's going to give you additional 10 coins as well which 
would help you have about 20 coins that you can play around with. That's for the free plan and some of the other features it provides. Then they have a base plan, a standard plan and a pro plan. Then you can upgrade as you deem fit depending on what you want to use this for. If you want to learn more about AI tools and how you can generate passive income with them, this is your cue to like this video, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more interesting content coming your way.